Hi, um, so we're going to look at how we can use a diode um, as a switch, okay? So uh, there are two parts to this video and um, we are going to start with the theory part and later onwards we'll look at uh, a demonstration but of course it's within the same video but we'll start with the theory part uh, then afterwards we look at the demonstration and um, so that at least if we see certain things happening during the demonstration it won't really like confuse us, uh, it will actually be interesting because uh, everything that you're going to talk about under the theory uh, segment is going to manifest itself under uh, the demonstration. Okay, uh, so of course we're going to look at the definition, we'll look at uh, the the types of diodes, you're going to look at the uses and uh, we're also going to look at um, like how it's made like the makeup of a diode and also look at the principle of operation of which if you look at the makeup uh, of a diode and the, uh, the principle of application we can fuse them uh, into the same kind of like the same concept we can explain them at the same time okay so uh, the, the diode has a pretty simple and straightforward definition okay uh, but the definition in as much as in as simple as it looks like it's very huge because everything under a diode the working principle is just summarizing the definition okay so we can say a diode is uh, an electric component that allows current flow only in one direction okay we can also say it's a it's a semiconductor device that acts as a one-way switch for current so you observe to see there are different types of definitions that you can find in books or on internet uh, like in terms of the definition of a diode but one thing that really stands out like for me when it comes to uh, the diode is, uh, is the fact that we are talking about one way one way uh, one way electric car uh, current flow okay like all the definitions that you're going to find they're just trying to describe to say uh, current I mean electric current is flowing in one direction okay so that's the definition of a diode so uh, when it comes to the the, the uses of a diode. Of course, we can use it as a switch, as we are about to demonstrate. We can use it as a regulator, a filter, and of course, we also there is also a, a part where you can like convert uh, DC, I mean AC voltage to to DC voltage. Okay, and that's a story for another day. But of course, we're just focusing on using a diode as a switch. Then the types of diode they are different types of diodes. Uh, the diode that you're going to use in this video uh, and in the demonstration is a PN junction diode. Okay, we have varactor diodes, we have photodiodes, there are just a good number of them but of course we just focus on the PN junction diode. Okay, so uh, for us to really understand the makeup and uh, the working principle of a diode is uh, let's first of all look at um, this picture that we have right here. Okay, so that is the, the picture of a diode and um, this that you see right here, this is similar to the diode that you're going to use in the demonstration. Of course, the one that you're going to use in the demonstration is pretty small compared to this one. Okay, it's pretty small compared to that one. So, but I believe you are, it will be visible enough on camera. Okay, and what we have here is a symbol of it. Like it's more like the general symbol of a diode. But of course, depending on the type of diode that you're using. Okay. Uh, like the symbol might might have some like differences in here and there but this is more like the general symbol of of a diode so you observe to say it has two parts to it it has two terminals we have the anode which is positive and we have the cathode which is negative of course okay so when it comes to a diode you can find diodes in um, you can buy i guess but if you you can get one that already been used you can like from phone chargers just from different devices you can find diodes okay yeah so uh, the, the diode also has a value to it if you have a digital multimeter you can measure the value of that particular diode okay and um, yeah you can also the, the digital multimeter can also tell you whether a diode is faulty or not because if a diode is not working i mean if it's a, if a diode is damaged it no longer function as it's supposed to function meaning it can allow the flow of current in both directions ra rather than allowing the flow of electric current only in one direction okay so uh and um one other thing about um one other, one other thing about uh, the, the diode is, uh, of course, we talk about the working principle, uh, which, of course, will make a lot of sense when you're talking about uh, when, like, we use this diagram that we have right here.
okay so this side is positive okay and this side is what is negative this is where we have the p type okay and we have the what the n type there okay so it's more like we have the anode here and we have the what the cathode on the other side so what it is here is that uh, these blue ones these are called holes then the big red dots they are uh, i'm calling them electrons then the white ones i'm calling them free holes then the the green ones green kind of uh, i'm calling these as free electrons okay so now when you look at this diagram this diagram is the one that helps us to understand the idea of forward biased and forward um i mean forward biased and reverse bias uh, of a diode so this this uh this diagram that we have here this demonstrates forward bias okay it's similar to the uh circuit in it's similar to like in the circuit that we are going to use in the demonstration this is forward bias so under forward bias you are going to observe that uh, when the anode voltage like voltage on this side okay when the anode voltage is more positive than the cathode voltage the diode is said to be forward biased and you're going to have the flow of what the flow of electric current okay you're going to have the flow of uh, electric current and even in, in as much the current is flowing through that diode you're going to find that there'll be uh, a, a relative minimal uh, voltage drop it depends on the type of voltage that i mean it depends on the type of diode that you are using and of course if you go online or you go in some books they are going to indicate that um, the voltage drop is like from 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 but according to the diode that i'm using i had to determine that the voltage drop was like 0 point what 0 point 0.3 okay the voltage drop was 0 point 0.3 so it's just more like uh the, there'll be a voltage drop so like a diode is, is essentially we can having an assumption that, that there is a voltage drop you're also going to i believe it makes a lot of sense to say and to understand that there's high resistance on one end of the diode compared to the other okay i believe that's why uh there is a voltage drop okay so that's the that's basically the idea of uh, a forward bias and uh and a reverse bias so if you find that uh, for example this is the symbol of a diode okay that's a symbol of a diode like that then if you have uh, a dc source here then instead of putting positive here let me put what let me put negative then positive like that so this circuit here this demonstrates a uh, reverse bias and you're not going to have the flow of current unless if the, the diode that you're using is 40. so you're not say this is positive and this is negative you have the anode here okay you have the anode there and you have the cathode so this simply means the um the anode voltage is more i mean the cathode voltage is more positive compared to the anode voltage you're not going to have the flow of uh, electric current unless if the diode you're using is what is 40. okay so now uh let's also try to uh look at uh okay let me give you the circuit that i'm going to use in the demonstration um so i'm not using leds uh which are light emitting diodes they're also type of diodes i'm going to use uh, uh motors okay like i've put one there like that i leave a gap in between then we have the second motor there okay like that then here I'm going to have um, we're going to have a battery there we want to have a cell rather like that then we have another cell here okay so you observe to say for this cell this is positive and this is negative this will be negative and this is going to be what it's going to be positive then somewhere here at this point okay I can put up my what my diode okay so now this is of course m1 uh m2 that'd be motor 2 and motor 1 there so the idea is if if i connect okay if i connect my uh like from this end i connect to that end there the question is is this motor going to work okay if it was a light was it going to light up the answer is yes because if you observe that is a forward bias connection okay that is a forward bias connection and you you need to know generally to say for a diode for a diode to work it needs to be in a forward bias what 
uh, connection. So in this case, what the, in in this type of connection, like the ones the one that you would have here, this is when you you have like you have the anode on this part, okay? Then you have the positive end, which is also this part connecting to what connecting to that one there. Okay. Then uh, if you get this this end and connect to that one, is this motor going to work? M two. The answer is no. That's that's a reverse uh, reverse biased uh, connection or like of a diode, because like I have my anode here, but this side is what is negative in terms of what in terms of my cell. So this is not going to work, and you're going to see this making a lot of sense as we are going to. Um, as we are going to do the demonstration and the direction in which the motor is going whether it's like clock, uh, clockwise or anticlockwise depends on how you have uh, the, depends on how you, how you have connected the motor itself okay it depends on the cables which one you have put on the positive side and which one you have put on the negative side because when when you get a, when you get uh, when you get a battery okay or I would call it a cell if you connect the positive part of uh, okay let me say the red wire of a motor to this positive part and the negative to this side it's going to rotate in a certain direction and even if you swap them you put the red here then you put the black here this is still going to work but it will rotate in in another direction like in a different direction okay so it's like you're going to have a clockwise and an anti-clockwise what uh rotation okay so that's the 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 circuit that i'm going to use in the demonstration so now let's look at the demonstration now look at um, the demonstration okay uh, so I have uh, two cells here and uh, I have the first cell here and I have the second one here so these uh, this is how the the terminals are arranged like I have the positive part here and I have my negative part here for this cell I have my positive part here and my negative part there for this second cell and of course I have my M1 and I have my M2 there so this one right here is like the way I've put up my diode. Like I have my my anode on the other side. I've indicated using A. Then I have my cathode on the other side, uh, indicated using C. So if you observe right here, I've already uh, connected my diode uh, just in this same uh, orientation. The way it's uh, the way it's arranged here. Okay. So I've tied it up on the side where it's the, where it's like the cathode. So it's where like I tie it up from this part here then i leave uh this part free which is eh, this uh far end here so what we are about to demonstrate is the reverse bias and the forward bias of a diode okay so what it is here is that uh, if we connect this end okay which is the anode to this part and of course is to the uh to the positive side of the of the cell this motor is supposed to uh supposed to rotate we're expecting it to rotate then if you connect this same end to this part this white cable that we have right here okay this one for this motor we're expecting this motor not to rotate because that is going to be reverse biased okay so now let's try to observe and see so if we connect this end to this white one uh I'm trying to use one hand here okay like that if you observe nothing is happening there not that the motor is not working someone might think the motor is not working it is working because if i get this same white part here i connect it on this other end more like we, we connect it as if the diode the diode is not there you're going to see the motor is going to rotate if you observe it is rotating it's working but if we connect it right here like on this end this is not going to work Okay, that is means that means it's off because that's a reverse bias uh, connection of a diode. Then, if I get this same end and connect to this red uh, red cable here, we're expecting this motor to rotate. Okay, there it is. It's rotating, but this one wasn't able to rotate because now it's a forward bias uh, of a diode. Okay, so and one thing is that if you look closely, okay, if you look close that how how uh, how fast it is appearing to be rotating this is going to be different if i connect it on this end more like the diode is not there if you observe this is appearing to be much faster compared to how it's, how it's rotating if you connect on this other end of the diode even the sound like i'm able to hear the sound is different okay and that is that is simply the voltage job that we were talking about earlier in the video and if you look at uh this is the voltage of uh each individual cell that we have here it's about 3.74 volts 
okay so now because of the this uh, 0 0.3 0 0.3 voltage drop that's why uh, we have that uh, reduction in terms of the uh, uh, speed of rotation of of the motor which is uh, which is m1 okay so this demonstration is just basically to indicate or to really make sense out of the theory part that we are talking about of course in place of the motors you can use leds or any other bulbs that you're able to use but i don't have them at the moment the motors are the ones that i have and i believe i'm able to use them as we have demonstrated they, they're able to work so this just to this this is just to show how and i mean how the uh, a diode works as a switch okay so that's all in this video and uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we have a lot more interesting videos of this kind that are coming up on the channel. So in case you haven't subscribed, subscribe and ring the notification bell so that each and every time you upload new content, you're going to be, um, you're going to be notified. Thank you very much for watching once again.